Hello everyone, welcome to another Go High Level video tutorial. Now today I will show you how to fully automate text with Go High Level. Now before we get started, make sure to subscribe down below and check out the first link if you want to go and get a high level free trial or Go High Level free trial. We actually have or we're offering a free trial through our link down below so you can check it out. Now, first of all, what we need is we need to go on sites, make sure you are in your sub account that you want to fully automate text with go high level with and then just go here to sites from sites, go to forms and then go to form builder. Now here we're going to build a form. Uh, now, first of all, as you can see on the right side, we have actually, uh, you know, options, styles, stuff like that. So as you can see right here, what we can do first is have a full name and we can go also with the full name, we can go with the email here, and then we can also go with a phone. Now this will be the opt-in where you know your uh, leads will go through. Uh, also, as you can see, if we go to options, form name is form one. Uh, this can be, a uh, form name can be, for example, I don't know, gym lead form, gym lead form. Um, and we can do pretty much that styles. Uh, you can also change the styles if you want right here. Fields, custom fields, you have custom fields. Uh, we can have city, state, country, HTML, text. Let's put text right here just so we can know that this is a, uh, you know, this is a gym lead form. Obviously you can style this however you want. Uh, you can style this in a much better way than I did. Uh, but as you can see, if we go here to uh, obviously styles, if you click here, we can style this by, you know, going in the middle, uh, bolding it, for example, bolding it like this, making it like this, however you want. And then also what we can do is add a, well, let's just go here and let's just uh, go to fields. And what we can do is we can add a button. A button can be right here, something like claim your free offer. And then we can also center this as well. We can also center the button. Uh, obviously we can make button full width if we want, stuff like that. This is pretty much what we can go and uh, yeah, basically what we can go with, right? Now, once we have this, what we can do is we can go to workflow. So in the next tab, I'll go to workflow. So just go to your sub account, go to your automation workflows and start a workflow from scratch. Now here, what you will need to do is you will need to add a new workflow trigger. A new workflow trigger will be basically uh, what we need to do is we need to add, uh, you know, sites and then we need to add forms. So as you can see right here, we have forms, right? Uh, and what we can do here is we can add a new workflow. So just add a new workflow form submitted here. Um, once you add that, as you can see, form submitted, uh, we can go here and as you can see, you have form submitted and then form submitted, just save this trigger right here. Uh, as you can see now, once form submitted, what we can do is add another uh, action, which is assign to user. And here we can assign to user. Um, we can just assign to one of the users here if we want, only apply to assign contacts as well, you can do that. Just save the action. Obviously we, we need to sign, uh, select the users. So right now we don't have any users but make sure to add a user right here. I'll skip this just for, um, just so you can go and uh, we can add our uh, next uh, action, which is right here. So after you have assigned to user, we can go and send an SMS. So just go here, send SMS. You can select the template, for example, none. And then here we can just say, hey, and then, you know, you can pretty much say, hey, name. Um, you know, you can obviously add the name as well uh, if you want. And adding a name is literally, it's it's that easy, right? So all you have to do is just go here and you just need to hey name and then custom values, you have users, full name. And that is pretty much it, hey, username. And then you just claimed your first, uh, you know, you just claimed your gym, free gym membership, for example. And then you can obviously type in everything like this, thank you, or, uh, if you don't, you know, if you don't go and if you don't redeem it within the next 15 days, you know, you will lose it or something like that. Uh, pretty much this is up to you how you're going to go and how you're going to customize it. 
Uh, after you have that, obviously you can add an attachment. Uh, you can send the text number or send the test SMS to your own phone number and then you will see how that looks like. You can obviously save this action right here. Obviously here it goes assign to user as I said. So just go and just click assign to user and here you will be able to go and you will be able to add a user. Obviously right now we cannot add a user because the user is not found, right? But after that, after SMS, you can go and you can type in the email as well. Send email and you can pretty much do the same from name, for example, from Gold's Gym, from email, which email you're sending from, subject line, you can select the template, none, and then here you can also add an attachment, you can add a, a custom text, right? And that's pretty much it. So once you have that, you can save the action right here. Uh, obviously, um, you know, this is basically how you can go and how you can, uh, you know, how you can basically go and choose a uh, and create a workflow, but also if you go here to form submitted, then make sure to also add a filter, uh, which is form is, and then here you can add uh, which form, right? So form one, which is our form right here. So just make sure you save the trigger. And then here, uh, obviously you will be able to add a assign a user as well, as I said before. Uh, but right here, as you can see, I don't have it yet. So that's pretty much in a nutshell how to add or how to fully automate text with go high level uh, you can do so much more here obviously you can save publish this but make sure the form is connected and everything is connected together so that's pretty much how to fully automate text with go high level if you have any questions or comments comment down below and we'll see you in the next video